asking us to find the vertex and the x-intercepts of some parabolas. I have two examples here on the front page. We'll do one one way and one a distinct way and then on the problem you do yourself you can choose which way you would like to do it, which way you prefer and I'll demonstrate both so we can see it both ways. So on the left hand example with the expression y equals negative x squared plus 2x minus 1 I'm going to do a little bit of simplification and uh, you know strategic manipulation here. I'm going to factor first of all out the negative sign so that I have an x squared minus 2x plus 1 and then I can recognize that x squared minus 2x plus 1 is a perfect square trinomial namely x minus 1 squared and therefore in the simplified version I can now see that the vertex since there's nothing being added onto the end and I have x minus 1 here I can notice that or I will notice that the vertex is going to be x minus 1 means it got shifted to the right one and then with no additional adding or anything on the end that means we would have a zero so the vertex would be located at 1 comma 0. Now interestingly 1 comma 0 is actually also the x-intercept of course because it hits the x-axis at 1 comma 0 so that would also be the answer to the x-intercept 1 comma 0. Uh, the graph if you're curious then would be shifted right 1 and it would be upside down so that's why the x-intercept and the vertex are identical. Okay, on the other hand, let's do this in another way on the right. On the right, you might notice that a equals negative 1, b equals negative 8, and c equals negative 16. So one way to find the x-coordinate of the vertex is that the x-coordinate of the vertex will be equal to negative b over 2 times a. So in this instance, it'll be negative, <coughs> negative 8, all over 2 times negative 1. The opposite of negative 8 would be 8, divided by 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, and so we get the number negative 4. To figure out the y-coordinate of the vertex, we can then take that x-coordinate and replace it into the function y. y equals negative negative 4 squared minus 8 times negative 4 minus 16. Negative 4 squared is 16 and the opposite of that would be negative 16 plus 8 times 4 would be 32. It's minusing and a negative so it would be a plus. Then minus 16. Oh and negative 16 plus 32 would be 16. Minus 16 more would be 0. And therefore here the vertex would be located at x equals negative 4, y equals 0. Again, in this kind of version, it turns out that that is also the x-intercept, if you notice, because it's lying on the x-axis. So the x-intercept is also negative 4, comma 0, and your graph would have looked here something like 1, 2, 3, 4 to the left, and it's also opening in a downward fashion. Now, why don't you pause the video and see if you can do this one on your own. Uh, you can use whichever method you would like. And assuming you give it a good shot here, let's do it together. First version would be, interpret this as y equals x plus 7 quantity squared. And then the vertex would be located at negative 7 because of the horizontal shift left 7 and 0 because there is no vertical shift. Again, this would also be the x-intercept because this hits the x-axis. That's negative 7, 0. And if you interpreted it or uh, attempted it the other way, we would be looking at this as saying a is 1, b is 14, c is 49, and calculating x in the x-coordinate uh, of the vertex to be at negative b over 2 times a which is negative 14 over 2 times 1, which is negative 14 divided by 2, negative 7. Notice that's the same answer that we got over here. And then interpret or uh, plugging in negative 7 as an x-coordinate into the function would yield y equals negative 7 squared plus 14 times negative 7 plus 49, which would be, let's see, negative 7 squared is 49, 14 times negative 7 would result with subtracting 98, 
and then adding on a 49. So that would give us the y coordinate of 0. So in both cases, we end up getting a vertex of negative 7, 0 and an x intercept of negative 7, 0. And that would mean that your graph this time would go through negative 7, 0. And this one would actually be upward facing instead of downward.